these videos are really fascinating. Uh, our next session is uh, on the Montessori experience in the Netherlands, and uh, our first guest is uh, Tessa Bessel, uh, who's co-founder and director of uh, Casa Bilingual Montessori School uh, in uh, the Netherlands. Tessa, the floor is uh, yours. You're most welcome. Thank you very much for inviting me and I uh, feel very honored to be able to speak about what we are doing at uh, Casa in uh, Pijnakker. So that's about three quarters away from uh, Amsterdam. Um, so uh, Casa is, a, is a quite a special place. <laughs> um, I will go back a little bit in my own per for my personal situation. I came to the Netherlands in 1997. I was very, very full of the Montessori that I've experienced in the U.S. I was able to do my training, AMI training, in the U.S. And I worked there at the very beautiful school in Portland, Oregon. And I came to the Nether Netherlands thinking, yeah, this is the place to be because Maria Montessori lived here and she worked here. She did her experiment schools actually here in the Netherlands. And I've heard there are many, many Montessori schools in the Netherlands. Actually, that was then the first experience that Montessori can be interpreted very differently. Uh, so we know that Montessori for the one is not Montessori for the other. Now, that is a, a politically, probably within the Montessori world, a uh, complex uh, uh, subject. But the fact is... Um, we have to address that as well, because I believe that Montessori can mean so much for this world uh, if it is applied correctly. It is, a, it is also a risky approach, I can uh, want to say, to children. If you do not know what you are doing and you give children a lot of freedom, it can go wrong. And that's in really important to understand. So my belief in a very, very good training, the uh, training that Maria Montessori herself designed, uh, I believe it is important because it gives a base. You are always applying Montessori in a, in a very, uh, you have to adapt because you are working with different children, different ages, and each child needs a special approach. For you to be able to know what that approach is, is a, a, you need to know a lot yourself. So as a teacher or guide, you really, really have to know a lot. So I believe the Montessori training is incredibly important. So at one point, I decided I will start the uh, a school in the Netherlands myself because I believe the only way to, sh to, to, to get this conversation going is to show that it can be done differently. And that uh, happened then 10 years ago, and I love to do it in the Netherlands because the Netherlands also allow it to be then a, 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 a state-funded school. So what we have here in the Netherlands is quite special. I have a school that's grown in 10 years to 430 children, and we have over 400 children in the waiting uh, on the waiting list. I have AMI trained people in um, all classes, more or less in the upper elementary. I miss a uh, one. <laughs> uh, otherwise, we have AMI trained people in all our groups. Um, I really need more AMI trained people <laughs> uh, because I really believe it's uh, important. But why? Why? Because you you show that we are doing digital work and we are doing lots of science and we are really having a wonderful environment for children to cook daily so our, ch our children cook hot meals themselves and uh, we have a, 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 a mo uh, an environment where children really move freely they, they, there's a lot more to see than in this movie um, but it is possible to do it is very different than a traditional school but it is state-funded and the point that I really want to make is Montessori can be done by, by, by um, 
by country, but it can be a national education. And I think Italy should be the first country where it should happen because Maria Montessori came from Italy. It should be a national education and the training that Maria Montessori designed should be a national uh, training for teachers. It should be funded. So I really believe the AMI training should be applic uh, apl uh, uh, available for all and should be funded in the same way and uh, uh, accessible and accredited in countries. So it's easy for me to get AMI people to work at the school at ours. So um, now let me just quickly, I will round up in a few moments, um, and, uh, think about Montessori in the modern world. You know, I think that Maria Montessori had a, a very specific approach based on what she saw happens in children. And the content, like beautiful math and beautiful botany or you call it, all the content is brought to children in a specific way that adapts to their inner needs. Now, I'm convinced that Maria Montessori would be fascinated with the technology that's there today. Uh, the, comp the, 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 the programming, what ha you know, it's I, I love it when children are doing programming because they need to think ahead. Eh? They need to be very critical at what they've done. They need to reflect. They need to adapt their plans in this in programming, working with uh, with uh, with the computers. So it is something that really helps their own development as well. Whether they're going to use this programming in the future, I don't know. Things change so quickly, but for their development, program programming is programming is very important. For example. Do children need to work with computers when they are young? No. There's no digital, anything digital in our groups from zero to six. And very limited uh, in the other uh, uh, groups as well. So why? Because Montessori approach is there to assist the development of the child. And if there's content that you bring to a child that doesn't assist the development, don't do it. Don't do it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Tessa, for uh, your uh, fascinating contribution. Uh, Tessa Vessel is uh, uh, the co-founder and manager of Casa Bilingual Montessori. <laughs>